get onto the dashboard and I'm actually gonna make a pocket dashboard. So I have already measured my planner out that this is going into and it is eight tall by five and a half wide. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, folded edge. I've got this 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, fold it in half and take the folded edge. There's a little selvage there. So I wanna make sure that part gets cut off. But you take the folded edge and use that as your straight edge. Cause again, a folded edge is straighter. We know that's straight cause it's folded. So I'm actually gonna cut it a little bit shorter than eight because I know that lamination will get, will make it bigger. And then I'm gonna do a little bit smaller than five and a half. Let me just get that thing out of the way. So now I've got a folded piece of paper, cardstock, or not cardstock, scrapbook paper. I don't know why I got that cutter out of the way. I'm gonna need it. So I'm gonna make this into a pocket. So you kind of open it up where that fold is. And I always just eyeball it. I see you take where the fold is and you want that right at the, you want that corner right at the top of that. You wanna make sure that you're cutting to the edge of that fold. And then here, I just kinda guess where I want my folder to stop. So I'll probably do right there looks good to me and just chop off a little triangle. So as you see, I'm gonna have a folder whenever we're done. And that's why I've got the scrapbook or the scrap, scrap piece of paper so that I can, and this is optional, you don't have to. I just figured that'd make it prettier to put that on the inside or you could use double-sided scrapbook paper. It doesn't have to be the single-sided. I just wanted that so that it wasn't so thick. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that to five and a half since I know that's five and a half wide. And I'm not even gonna worry about cutting the bottom off. I'm just gonna leave what I've got there. Um, and again, little glue, not a lot of glue, especially if you've got wet glue, <laughs> wet school glue like I do. I would just put them on the four corners. I did one earlier and I tried painting the glue on and it was a disaster. I had to run it through this laminator about a thousand times just to get it to look decent and it really doesn't even look that good. So I'm hoping this one will turn out better. And so for me, this is actually gonna be the back of the dashboard. I think that'll work for now. Cause again, we're just, we just need it to adhere long enough to get it through the laminator. So this is gonna be the back for me because I'm gonna put this build due schedule on the top. And I want that on the front, but then whenever I flip it, I'll have a pocket. So again, just glue on four corners. And I'm just eyeballing it, just like I did with the envelopes. I mean, we're essentially doing the same thing as we just did with the envelopes. I'm gonna use another laminating sheet. And this time I want the edge that I'm going to punch, I want on this folded edge. So if you were gonna have your pocket first, then put that closer. 
but I'm gonna have this first, so I'm putting this closer. Only because it does give you that extra support of an edge. And just because I've got some extra room, I have these little journaling cards I wanted to make into little bookmarks. So I'm gonna throw those in on that laminating sheet as well. Look, I got glue on my desk. You can see it all over this laminating sheet. Let's hope that doesn't mess it up. for you I'm sorry and again I just like to run those in a couple times in the laminator another thing you can do if you want this to be a thicker dashboard you can then put the laminated sheet that's now laminated in another <laughs> sheet and then it kind of makes it double the mil. So that would, this is three mil. If you would put it in another sheet, that'd make it six mil. I think the planner covers are like 10 to 20 mil. So if you ever wanted to make those, you just would have, they do sell five mil in the store. I don't think I've ever seen 10, but if you double two fives, then you'd be close to that 10, 15 mil of a planer cover. It'd be a lot thicker. And I might just do that as well, just thicken it. And honestly, I think I might do it three times. <laughs> just have it really thick but that's gonna make it harder to punch. So beware, if your punch is not that good, then you probably won't have a way to do it. But you just take the already laminated sheet and you put that laminated sheet in another laminated sheet and do the whole lamination process again. And then it just makes it thicker and nicer. Hopefully that doesn't look bubble and wrinkled like that. And even when I am working with three mil laminating, the laminator has a setting for three mil and five mil. I always put it on five mil just to make sure that it does it well enough for me. It gets all the bubbles out. Make sure it gets everything sealed. Because I've noticed with three mil, even if it is three mil laminating sheets, it just doesn't always uh, seal as good as I like it to be sealed. That might be why I throw it through the laminator about a thousand times. So I'm gonna throw it in another laminating sheet real quick to make this super thick. I hope my cutter can even handle that actually. Ooh. Gotta be careful. I We messed with it while it was still hot. I probably should have let it cool off. I don't know if you can tell, that's a lot thicker than the typical three mil single sheet without throwing, throwing it in more sheets. 
I'm gonna throw this through the laminator one more time and then I'll show you the difference. So this is just a sheet of three mil laminate. It was extra laminated. If you can just hear the difference from just throwing those laminating sheets in more laminating sheets and just keep laminating. So don't be like me and get glue everywhere while you're working because chances are the stuff you're working on is going to get glue too. In fact, just make sure you have stick glue because I'm sure it will be a lot easier. I'm going to let that cool. This probably would have not had so many bubbles had I let that cool before um, doubling the lamination or tripling the lamination. So I'm just gonna let that cool for a little bit. So we're just gonna kind of do the same thing. Um, this time we are not gonna have any open edges. So, oh, let me put that back on because I do like to run finished product, finished projects through the laminator again, just to be sure. Oh, that cutter just cut that. I can't believe it. Ooh. Oh, I got that really close. Yeah, that lamination's peeling up because I got it super close. So let's hope when I run it through the laminator again, it kind of seals it back up. So again, like I said, I like to always run my finished products through the laminator again in case you do like I do and it's just a little too close for comfort, throw it back through. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these cards up. bookmarks, I guess. Now these, I would not suggest running through the laminator again because they're so small, they'll get stuck in the laminator. So don't do it. <laughs> Don't be me, um, I have broken a laminator that way before. Just don't, if it looks too small to go through, just don't do it, because it probably can't go through. I used my paper corner on this, but I don't know that my paper corner will cut this anymore with how thick I've got it but I do want to round at least the lamination off my paper corner is broke too right there at the corner so I don't know if you can see that snap it makes it really hard to use it in the first place let alone with how thick it is it worked ah, spoke too soon Okay. Ah. It's getting to me where the crack is. I probably made the crack worse.
There it goes. Okay. So, now that I've got this pocket back here, we just sealed it up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a ruler and we're going to put that ruler right along that edge where the two scrapbook papers meet. And then you're going to take an X-Acto knife and you're going to cut along that edge. You want to be careful not to cut too deep because you don't want to cut through your scrapbook paper. You just want to cut the lamination, which I'm going to go a couple times since we did um, triple up that lamination. And then sometimes you've got to play with it, but it looks like I cut deep. Now see here. I just take the exacto knife underneath it rather than doing what we just did again. And so now you have a laminated pocket. I've got my bill schedule dashboard and then you just hole punch it however you want to hole punch it. Um, my planner has kind of got like an Erin Condren coil so I won't do that for you. It's going to take forever. I'm sure there's tons of videos on that for you. So. That is it. Got some cash envelopes and a dashboard. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.